Welcome to my channel, Spirit of Diamond Painting. My name is Erica, and if you are new here, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for more diamond painting content. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today I have an unboxing for you. I'm going to be unboxing a fairly new kit from Diamond Art Studios UK. This is actually my first kit from Diamond Art Studios UK, but when I saw it, I could not resist getting it. Uh, this is kit is called Rain Dancer Denise, and uh, it is one of their high volume kits, which I've really been wanting. I've seen a few of them on Instagram, on YouTube, um, and I was honestly a little scared at first because I'm like, do I want to dive into a kit that is actually uh, has that many colors uh, and and has that much confetti? Or, you know, do I want to kind of stray away from it? But when this one came out, just the vibrancy of the colors and the beauty of the image really, really stuck out to me. So I had to order it. I will say I live in the States, so Diamond Art Studios UK is based in the UK. Um, I do live in the States, and I managed to get this kit pretty darn quickly. I ordered it on release day, and I had it within a week. So um, I am super excited that I was able to get this very, very quickly. So as we do with all unboxings, we're going to start with the exterior packaging. So I will say that this was covered in a layer of bubble wrap, and that's what my address was actually affixed to. So they really took the time to make sure that this was going to get to me overseas uh, with no problems. On the front, I do have, there's a little thank you card as well as a beautiful bow. And as we flip it over, we also see that we have their sticker along with this ribbon. So let's go ahead and get this untied here. And the uh, this actually card they affixed to it and it just says, thank you for your purchase from Diamond Art Studio. And um, it has some more information on the back and just saying that uh, they provide, you know, high quality diamond painting kits straight from their UK warehouse. Um, and then uh, it has their website information, which I will also include in the description box below. And if we turn it over here on the back, we also have um, where they've kind of, so I, I can see that they've wrapped it in this kind of brown paper bag material. So we're just gonna kind of crack this bag way open. I'm so excited to see what's underneath this. So, so excited to see what's underneath it. Sorry, I'm ripping it just a little bit. It's like a kid unwrapping a present I, is what I kind of feel like right now. All right, so I can see, let's get this out of the way here, that we have this beautiful box. Look at this beautiful box here. So um, we have a beautiful box. This box is probably one of the most shiniest boxes I have seen. It's got like an iridescent coating on the outside of it that I don't know if the camera can actually really pick it up, but it's got this iridescent coating on the outside of it that really makes it kind of shimmer and shine a little bit. It's beautiful. So on the front of the box, we have Diamond Art Studio, um, along with some pretty artwork. On the side here, we've got some instructions, which I will bring into focus here for you. We've got some instructions. It's a big box, guys. It's a big box. And then we also have their website and social information. And then we also have some additional information here, kind of standard information. Um, both sides of the box are the same, it looks like. And then here on this side, it does say we have high, it's high quality painting canvas with poured glue and resin drills. Ooh, it's resin drills. I'm excited about this with a premium toolkit. And then on this end of the box, we have kind of a sample of what everything is. And I'm looking to see, yes, there is the original artwork on, I'm going to turn this around here just a little bit, sorry. Um, there is the original artwork on the bottom of the box here. I'm going to put it up on the screen for you so you can see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and open this up and slide the contents out. I will say this is pretty darn heavy. Um, and 
let's take a look here. So the drills were rolled up inside of this. I went ahead and slid them out because they were really heavy. So slid them out, um, as you can imagine, 178 colors. That would be a lot there. So um, this is the canvas itself and I'm gonna open it up. It is a 60 by 80 canvas um, with square drills. So we're gonna get some fabulous detail with the square drills. So let's, I'm already loving what I'm seeing so far as I unravel her. So she is very heavy and I imagine there is, yep, I found another bag of drills as I was going through there. So one of them slid out, the other one didn't. So, oh, I wish I could, I'm gonna try to see if I can get a full shot of this. I also have the toolkit and everything that is kind of hiding in here as well. I'm gonna put those off to the side. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that in just a minute. But this artwork is gorgeous already. And so I am actually going to see if I can zoom out just a little bit here for you. So you can kind of get a better image. It doesn't even fit on my whole desk space. I'm gonna turn it sideways so that we can get a bit of the whole image here. But look at this, look at her. She is stunning. She is beautiful, she is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna love to see how all the colors play out in, on her. In the kit is, you can request a toolkit. I will say I did not request a toolkit with mine. I have plenty of tools, I do not need additional tools. Um, I usually do love the toolkits, but at this case with this one, I was like, I don't really need it. Um, but what it does come with is it comes with this amazing sticker sheet. So, um, it is still in, it is, comes, it is plastic bagged and I'm going to leave it that way just, um, here because we have three pages in here. You can probably see right down here, it says page one of three. <laughs> so uh, as I said, this is kit, this kit has 178 colors. So lots and lots of sticker sheets here. But what actually, I am gonna take the first page out for you guys so you can get a good shot of, and get a good view of the original artwork of this canvas. So, on this sticker sheet here, this is what all of the sticker sheets look like. We have the original artwork. So it shows that it's Rain Dancer Denise by Diamond Art Studios UK Limited. The artist is Helco Royo, which I may pronounce that incorrectly. I'm sorry if I did. Um, in partnership with Diamond Art Studio UK Limited. Um, it has the code for the artwork as well as their website and then it does mention that this is page one of three and over here we have the sticker sheets so these are available for me to be able to kit up so i am actually going to be purchasing i have to purchase another um uh, storage solution for which i'm going to get from my um for my partners over at art dot i'm going to get um a new uh, storage solution because I don't have anything big enough actually that will hold as many colors as this uh, kit has. But you can see like this colors in this kit are absolutely stunning. And this is um, the signature of, of her artwork. And so she has a very vibrant colors and I love, 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 love to work with vibrant colors in my kits. So let's take a little bit of a tour around the canvas. So up here at the top, we do have the branding of Diamond Art Studios UK Limited. On this side, we do have the model, which is the number that I was talking about. We also have the original artwork, and then we have the color list. So the color list, as you can probably imagine, is pretty darn long so we've got it's two rows 178 colors two rows on either side so we have this both sides of the canvas it's great because with a canvas this size i am going to 
I have a smaller desk area that I work on. So a lot of times I'm rotating the canvas in different locations, different ways in order to be able to fit it onto my desk. So I'm gonna just kind of scoot this up a little bit. Um, on the bottom of the kit, we have their socials. So where you can find them on Facebook and Instagram. Instagram is actually the place that I originally saw um, them on. And then I will say that I did see a few of the other kits um, by this artist on Instagram and that's what drew me to it and then their website and then last but not least we have their the name of the um, artwork as well as we have the artist and I love that it has actually the artist's signature is here. This tells me that this kit is licensed from this artist. It means the artist is being paid fairly for their work. Uh, they've given permission to Diamond Art Studios UK to allow usage of this artwork for diamond painting and they are being compensated for it. Uh, I did notice that down here at the bottom there is a little piece of some poured glue that's kind of like hanging out here. I think I'll be able to kind of move it off the canvas just a little bit. Um, when I get ready to start it and clean it up just a little bit. So let's um, let's take a quick look. I'm gonna scoot her down here a bit. So we'll look at the top of the canvas here. Um, this kit does not have any AB drills in it, I don't believe. Actually, I take that back. I'm looking at the drills. There are several AB drills in it. Um, so we will take a look at those ABs. We'll determine what colors are, are the ABs and I will try to show you some of the placement of them from first glance and I'll show you guys the drills here in just a minute. These drills are going to be beautiful throughout the canvas. Not doesn't look like there's too many, but it is going to be beautiful throughout the canvas. So um, the canvas does have pretty good quality rendering. So rendering being the clarity of the symbols. Um, am I able to see these pretty easily? when I'm working on it. And if I test the stickiness, I'm gonna pull this back here just a little bit. That glue is really, really nice and sticky actually. So this is going to, the drills I think will adhere really, really well to this. And I'm probably going, I will say the other thing about this, I unrolled this kit and the canvas laid flat pretty darn quickly. I didn't, usually I have to give it a little bit of a roll backwards to get it to lay flat. This one, I didn't do that. I actually just took it out of the box, laid it out flat, and it's laying pretty flat. Now I will probably smooth the plastic out just a little bit because it is a little crinkly, but otherwise it's laying pretty flat. It's laying pretty flat. So um, I'm going to pull out the drills here so you can see all of the color spread of the drills. So there are two bags of drills, not one, but two. And since this is such a high color kit, um, I'm not going to spend too much time going through all of the drill colors. I will pull out the ABs and show you kind of where the ABs are on the canvas. But because she's got so many colors in her, I don't want to necessarily go, you know, one by one through the colors like I normally would because we'd be here for a while. There's a lot of colors in this kit. Um, but I do want to take a look at where the special drills go and how they are going to highlight the piece. In looking at this, I do see that also, um, you know, because it is a high color kit, this it kit does have a lot of confetti in it. I can see it just by looking at it. There's a couple places where I can see that there's a little bit of some color blocking, but in here, like here and here, but for the most part, it is a, it's going to be a lot of confetti in, in here up in the yellow, as especially as we come down further into the painting and into the picture with some of the other colors. Um, it's to be expected with a kit that has got this many colors that it's going to have quite a bit of confetti. So um, one of the things that I will definitely have to think about when I do kit up to start this kit is that I will need not only a bigger storage solution because I need to be able to have something where I can kit this many colors, but I um, will also need 
to be able to have multiple trays and use multiple trays in use. And there's some great options for that um, in order to be able to keep multiple colors and multiple and multiple trays so that you're not having to change between one tray all the time, uh, especially for pieces with lots of confetti. Um, this is definitely something I will probably work on, you know, fairly soon. I want to see the colors come into play, but at the same time, I'm also kind of trying to take a little bit of a break from some squares. I've been doing a lot of square artwork, which I love squares. Don't get me wrong. I love square drills. Um, it's, I love both rounds and squares. I'm not one of those that discriminates one or the other. Like I love both drills. I, and I love to have rounds in the mix because they give me a nice break from squares, but I love the detail that come from having square drills. So um, I am taking a little bit of break from squares currently. So I will probably not start this one currently right away. I also, like I said, I have to get some things to be able to do this one a little more comfortably, but I, We'll say I'm looking forward to when I do start it. Um, back to the drills here. So we have, like as I said, I've, as I've been saying, it's it's some or 178 colors. Um, each baggie does have the code that goes with the kit um, written. That's the model number basically so if you needed to store these separately from the canvas like if you take it out of the box and you maybe put the canvas into you know um, a hanger or a roll piece um you can store these in a box and you would know where they go to um and you can see that there is a quite a beautiful color palette with this kit right so there are um quite a bit of some yellows, some pinks, some oranges. Um, we've got purples. I mean, almost every color of the rainbow you can imagine is here. Um, this baggie is the one that's got the ABs in it. So I do want to pull those out for you. Let me get this open here. So I'm going to pull the ABs out of here really quick. And let's see how many ABs we have. Quite a few. I, if I remember correctly, the kit said that it had 10 ABs in it. So we're about to find out here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ooh, ooh, and 10. So yes, there are 10 ABs in this kit. And this one, there's two huge baggies of so I'm super excited to see if I can figure out where this goes I'm imagining it's going to go down in her dress and her her skirt the skirts of her dress but I love kits that have a lot of babies in them so I'm really looking forward to looking at where these are we also have another kind of lighter blue AB that's going to be in this kit we have a light green AB we have uh, another green, this is a maybe a medium green AB. So lots of green ABs. So I'm wondering kind of, I'm, I'm looking for to seeing kind of where those play out in here. So this is another green AB. This is a darker green AB. Um, more of a light green AB here. And then this one, I think I like to call it, it's like a Kelly green. It's a Kelly green AB. So the majority of the ABs that I've come across here for this kit so far have been greens. Um, and then here's kind of another one. This is, I want to say a hunter green. It's a hunter green AB kind of. And then we have, <laughs> this is, if you saw my last video, which is when I unboxed the Leo teacup, it has this red 666 AB that is I love this AB. I am, it is chef's kiss to me. And I'm looking at, I'm like the iridescent coating on these. It's just, mm, it's so beautiful. I love this. I love this color in an AB. And then last but not least, we have another red AB. This is a 321 AB. So let's kind of see if I can figure out where some of these guys go. Um, I'm going to take a look at the 
uh, chart here and kind of determine where some of these go and what the symbols are. Let's start with, um, I'm gonna start with the 321 AB. So I'm gonna just kind of move these out of the way here. So this kind of reddish AB color here. So this one is going to be, let's see, let's see, let's see. Like, as I said, there's lots of confetti in this kit. So finding everything is going to be a little bit tricky. So some of it is here in the bodice of her dress. Um, I'm gonna scoot, scoot her up a little bit as we go here to see. There's some more down here, kind of in um, parts of her dress. And then some more down up a little bit more and there's some more down here kind of in the bottom parts of her dress here as well um so it's kind of like a nice little highlight throughout her dress um throughout her dress in various places so then we have the red 666 ab which is my one of my personal favorites so this one is also going to be kind of in that same area as um as the last red ab i will say this there's more of these in this area so again kind of in the reds here of her dress um the reds here of her dress uh, there is a few down here at the very, very bottom. I know you can't quite see those, but um, let me pull her down a little bit. There's quite a bit as we go into this area of her dress. So it's going to be, you know, in, in here and kind of in the belt of her dress. So they're going to um, complement the first B that I was showing you, the uh, 321 AB. They're going to complement, so they're going to almost go together in a lot of places on her dress. Next up, we've got uh, the 699 AB, which is the, um, I think of this as a hunter green. So uh, let's see where this one would go on this canvas. It's going to go uh, as I suspected, it's going to come kind of down into her dress. So from what I'm looking at and what I'm seeing, most of the ABs are in the dress, which is where I would want them. If I'm being very honest, I want the ABs dress. It's going to give it that uh, beautiful kind of shimmer down into her dress as she's dancing, right? I, I mean, I'm going to be like, I am very, very drawn. Like This artwork really spoke to me. And it kind of made me think of a free spirit and how she's just, she's dancing in the rain. Um, and with these flaming vibrant colors. And so to have all of these ABs in the dress, I think it's just going to continue to evoke that emotion. Art is about evoking different emotions sometimes. And I think it's going to do that. Um, I may have to move this one up in my time to figure out as I'm like looking at this more and more. I'm like, while I'm taking a hiatus from squares, I may have to move this one up in my timeline for sure. Um, as I was saying, so a lot of the green is going to be here in kind of this area of her dress. Um, and most of the green ABs actually that I went through. So let me pull these all up here. Um, we have, you know, quite a few green ABs here. Um, these are all kind of in down here into her dress area. Um, this is the, and then as we come further down, there's a little bit more down in the, but most the chunk of it is going to be right here in this section of her dress. Um, and I love how it's got different, like it's stacking the ABs kind of next to it. So it's really going to give it this nice, like shimmering, effect um on the outside of it now i want to know these are the ones where we have the two big bags of babies i want to know where that goes so let's find out where that is going to go so yes it is in her dress so you can't let me see if i can get this a little bit closer here so here in her dress here in all of these blue pieces right here that is all of this beautiful blue AB. This is all this beautiful blue AB. This R symbol right here, all of this 
is AB. So yeah, uh, and there's some over here as well. So all of this blue, this is all AB drills, all AB drills. And I am, oh God, it's gonna be so pretty. It's gonna be so pretty. It's just like, I feel like her dress is just shimmering. I'm like, I'm so excited. I'm going to have to move my timeline. I'm going to have to find out, figure out where I'm gonna start, when I'm gonna start working on her. I have to fit this into my timeline. Um, and then last but not least, we have our, um, this other blue AB. So this other blue AB will um, also go kind of go down in this area. So it's also going to go down right here in this area and um, be a part of this area. So lots and lots of 10 ABs total in this kit. And the majority of them are going in her dress, which I think is fabulous. I think is absolutely fabulous. I am, I, I can't, I'm, I can't say enough about how excited I am to work on this kit. And I have an issue with cereal starting. So a part of me is like, I want to kit it up right now, but I can't. So I have to wait <laughs> because I don't have the stuff to do it. But I, I want to definitely get started on this sooner rather than later. I want to see all of these colors come into play, especially with as cold as it's been. And, you know, I, I, I want that, the warmth of the vibrant colors that come from this kit. So to recap, um, this is the kit Rain Dancer Denise by artist Helrokyo and um, produced by Diamond Art Studios UK. Um, it has 178 colors in it with square drills, 10 ABs total in the whole entire kit. Um, quite a color palette, quite a color palette. Um, and I... I, I'm looking forward to being able to get started on this. Um, I will definitely be starting this sooner rather than later. I think I'm going to get a couple small projects out of the way before I start this one, but I'm looking forward to the colors in this and seeing it all come together. This kit is still available on Diamond Art Studio UK's website. I will link it in the description box to below in case you want to pick up your very own rain dancer. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a really big thumbs up and subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, if there's anything that you would like to see on this channel, other companies that you are curious about or artwork that you are interested in and you'd like to see unboxed on this channel or shared on this channel, please leave me a comment in the comments below. Even if you just want to say hi in the comments, I read all of my comments and I respond to all of them. So I would love to hear from you down in the comment box below. Until next time, I will see you later. Happy diamond painting! Thank you.